Thanks for joining us today. Uh, today I'm going to be making a really super fast but super cute birthday card. And it's kind of gender neutral. Uh, sometimes men's cards, birthday cards are really hard to make. So this one I think can go for either one. I have pre-cut out everything already so this video should go pretty quick. And I will give the measurements of everything that I'm doing as I go along and where I've got the cuts from. So I started out with my five and a half by eight and a half sheet of cardstock and I'm just going to fold it in half to make my card base. And I have this birthday pattern paper that I actually picked up at Target and it's so cute. It has some sparkle in it. Really pretty. And I'm going to just get that down on my card base. I'm not going to even use ribbon on this card, that's how quick it's going to be, but I think it's going to look so nice once it's all put together. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is this extra piece that I left short because this pattern piece is cut at five and a half and by only three inches, so that left some extra on my card base. I'm going to go ahead and use my paper cutter and cut off the extra top of the card where the pattern paper ends. And what that's going to do, it's going to make the front of my card smaller than the back of my card so there's some space here. I cut a coordinating sheet of just plain colored cardstock and it's cut at five and a half by one and a half. And I have this neat birthday stamp and it just says birthday and then gives all the different definitions. And I'm going to stamp this plain card stock with this stamp. And I'm not going to do it exactly. I'm going to have it line up on different parts of the card stock so that they can just see the definition. There we go. And I'm going to add this to the inside of the card. So we're going to flip this over and get it taped down. And I'm going to line it up to the edge of the inside of my card. And when you close it, you'll see it overlaps perfectly. There's no blank space. And it looks pretty cute. Now I have these little cuts. These cuts are from the Paper Pups cartridge and they are this little party hat and birthday present. I did the first cut in blackout and then I did the second part in just the icon by holding the shift with two different colors and I have these cut at an inch and a half and what I want to do with these I want to pop them up a little bit so I'll just use these little pop dots on the back and I'm going to put these on the right side which is actually the inside of the card. I want to make sure that it's not going to get in the way of the card opening. And we'll put this one right above it. Like that. Now I cut from the wild card cartridge this slice of cake and I used uh, just some glue when I went along the top, the side, and in the middle for the, the cream and I used this uh, Craft Essentials glitter from Joann's and I used this one because it's thick and it actually looks like really thick frosting so I think it really gave it a nice effect and I also used a textured cardstock which makes it look more uh, cakeish. And then also from the wild card cartridge, and I can show you, it's on page 61. I used the frame, and that gave me the platter for the cake and the slice of the cake. And you have to remember that these, when you use the size, it, it coordinates it to saying, thinking it's the size of the card that you want to cut. So if you're making a 5-inch card, it will make sure that these icons fit a five inch card. They won't fit them at five inch unless you have the real dial size on. So these were cut, the cake was cut at four inches and the platter was cut at four and three quarters. And I'm going to glue 
um, the platter down because I used a silver paper and it's kind of thin so I don't think it'll hold up well if I try and use a pop dot on it. I think it might tear. So I'll get this platter on there. Good. And the cake, I'm definitely going to use the pop dots. Flip that over, put two big ones on the back. Now I will have all the measurements for all these cuts and what cartridges I made them from on my blog. If you just go over to my blog, it's www.doubleclickconnections.blogspot.com. We have lots of projects on that blog. Uh, my chicks will actually be doing a video here in a few minutes, but I just wanted to get one out before I let them take over. So there you have it. It's a, I think it's just the cutest birthday card. I love the stamping on the side, the little birthday icons, and the piece of cake. And it was a really fast and easy card. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you come over, visit us, become a follower on our blog. Thanks!